Data Analysis How to use the Excel Analysis Tool Pack The Analysis Tool Pack is an Excel add-in program that provides data analysis tools for financial, statistical, and engineering data analysis. It allows you to easily do data analysis such as Histogram Descriptive Statistics T-Test F-Test ANOVA Correlation Regression, and many more. To load the analysis tool pack add-in, execute the following steps. On the file tab, click Options. Under the add-ins menu, look below the inactive applications add-ins. Select Analysis Tool Pack, and click on the Go button. Then click OK button. When this dialog box appear, make sure to check Analysis Tool Pack tick box and click on OK. Now that the tool pack has been added, you may click on the Data tab menu. Then in the Analysis group found in the far right side of the menu, you can now click on Data Analysis tab. After clicking the Data Analysis tab, the following dialog box below appears. From all the different choices available here, we can now select which data analysis tools we need. Let's have a practical example. For instance, we want to have the histogram for our data. The histogram is a very useful data analysis which is available in the Excel Analysis Tool Pack. Let's use this sample data. During data analysis, data can be grouped based on specific intervals. In this case, data can be grouped to 0 to 20, 21 to 25, 26 to 30, 31 to 35, and 36 to 40. The corresponding bin numbers represent the upper levels for each data groups. Let's now use the Excel Analysis Tool Pack to get the histogram for our data. First, click on the Data tab. Then in the Analysis group, you can now click on Data Analysis. On the Data Analysis dialog box pop-out menu, just select Histogram. Then, Click OK. This will create a histogram in Excel. Next is to provide the input range. To do this, simply select the cell range from A2 to A19, found in the table of our sample data. Then provide the bin range. To do this, click in the bin range box, and select the cell range from C4 to C8. These are the bin numbers that represent the groupings of data. Next, click the Output Range Option button. Then, Click in the Output Range box, and then select cell F3. This provides the location placement of the resulting histogram. Also, make sure to check out the Chart Output Radio button, 
found on the bottom part of the dialog box. Then, click OK. Here's the histogram for our sample data. It's a graphical display of data using bars of different heights. It is similar to a bar chart, but a histogram groups numbers into ranges represented by bin numbers. The height of each bar shows how many fall into each range, known as the frequency. Then you may right-click the legend on the right side, and press delete. Also, it is best to properly label the chart, by changing bins, to number of students. There is also the option to remove the space between the bars. To do this, just right-click a bar, click Format Data Series, and change the gap width to 0%. To add borders, right-click a bar, click Format Data Series, click the Fill and Line icon, click Border, and select a color. We can also use the Analysis Toolpack Add-in, to generate descriptive statistics from the given data. For example, we may have the scores of 14 participants for a test, as our sample data. To generate descriptive statistics for these scores, we may execute the following steps. Again on the Data tab menu, in the Analysis group, we can now click on Data Analysis. Then, when the Data Analysis dialog box comes out, we can simply select Descriptive Statistics, and then click OK. Select the range A2 to A15 as the input range. Select cell C1 as the output range. Then, make sure Summary Statistics is checked, and click OK. Check out the result. It includes the mean, median, mode, standard deviation, variance, and many other statistical tests. Please check out other videos from this channel, on how to use the Analysis Tool Pack. For the F-Test, the T-Test, ANOVA, Correlation, Regression, and many more.